Rusland. Rusland. Take it easy tomorrow. I won't. You can drive. Now you got to start winning some of these races. Thank you. Hi, we're here at the Mint 400 What's with up? who's this guy? Rusland. Rusland. And we're gonna do a burro build on his Polaris Razor Pro XP. What year is this thing? Uh, 2021. 2021. Full tube chassis. Right. And who built the frame? Uh, IMG Motorsports. They did the whole car, and then uh, on the suspension side of things, it's kind of the whole big deal of the car. Uh, we got King shocks on it and HCR suspension. HCR long travel kit on it. So what size are these Kings in front? Uh, I believe it's a 2.5 and a 3.0. And uh, everything works out great. The, uh, the seats were moved back uh, 12 inches from stock. So this overall, this car is the same length as a four seater, right? Correct. So these these seats actually used to be way up here. Yep. yep. Uh, that's So the cage used to be mounted in there. Yep. So uh, it was moved back completely and- uh, Keeps you more centered in the vehicle. Right, correct. Yep. And how long have you had this one? I'd say I've ha I've, dr I've gotten the opportunity to drive it for like three months. Okay. And it was in a shop for like a year and a half. I remember you having a couple of problems when you first got it back with the, Correct. the yeah. heating stuff, right? Correct. Uh, over here. Everything's issue. fixed up? Yeah, and then uh, we ended up trying our CBR intercooler and it ended up fixing everything on it. Awesome. CBR always makes good stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we, uh, we also run the radiator. And then up there on the top, you see that little carbon fiber scoop. Uh, that actually goes into the intake to uh, pull things down. Okay. And then it also goes into the clutch to pull the belt down. So it goes down into the belt? Right, so it, as you can see, it's like a Y splitter. This yep. goes down in the belt, and this goes down into the intake. Awesome. That is good. We, uh, we run our ZRP alternator right here. Oh, so you just added that, right? Right, correct. Um, we did a ZRP alternator because we were having some problems with voltage. Because um, as you can see, we run a lot of our electric stuff. So we used the alternator, uh, and now we're running 14s, very strong 14s. How many How many amps does that alternator put out, do you know? I'm actually not sure, but it just it seems to work very well. Um, I saw that kit, it's a really nice piece, very, that's for sure. Very, very nice piece. It's, yeah. uh, the outside's billet and everything. So uh, that's actually the cover for the flywheel. Yep. And it, act it has a tiny bolt where it kind of bolts onto that and the belt spins and then it runs the alternator. And what is that alternator actually out of? I don't know actually. It's what the um, ZRP sends you, but I think it's from a different company. Cool, As you can cool. see the badging on the side. Yep. And who installed that? Who installed that? Myself. Wow, man. Yeah. Good work. Yeah, and then um, this is actually yesterday. I started prepping this car at 11, 11 a.m. and I finished at 2.45 a.m. And when you prep it, what do you? What does that mean exactly? Uh, so prepping means like making sure nothing's broken, taking off all the suspension. So uh, I was. You take off every bolt, retorque it. Correct. Yeah. So uh, you come up here, and I swapped all of it to uh, ARP bolts. And those are something you're getting through Brian Crower and those guys. Yes. TPR. Correct. That's the stuff they make, right? Uh, no, ARP is a separate company, but they do work together. Um, so I ended up swapping everything out: ARP, top shocks, everything. It's ARP on the car now. Even right here, A arms, everything. Yeah, that's great. So uh, the bolts took me a very long time. And, you did uh, the whole whole suspension system? Yes. Yourself? Myself, yes. Wow, man. Uh, I did all the suspension. The uh, took me a very long time, and the alternator actually, uh, you'd think it would take longer. It actually only took me an hour to do. Oh, that was so, easy. Uh, that's like a plug and play kit. So it, it's basic. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Let's go over your co-driver's seat here. Right. He's got. Siren and horn. Siren and horn. These are some of the USBs to charge your phone, and uh, these are for the GoPros to make sure they stay charged. Yep. We have a uh, Lawrence uh, Elite F FS9. Okay. Uh, just a bigger screen. They normally use sevens, so it's a way bigger screen. Uh, we got our Switch Pod Pros right here. Yep. Switch Pros. Switch Pros. Uh, for That's all a twelve. Lights. Yep. That is a twelve, right? And then we're also running our PRP Deltas. So and I saw your name. We can go over to your side and check out the. Those are custom made for you. Yes, uh, these are these are the old glory stitching, American, and uh, we're running our assault uh, assault sway links. Uh, amazing. We're also running a uh, Carl heat belt transmission. Okay. Just to uh, for reliability, also because it, it does treat the transmission. Um, other than that, the uh, everything stock. What's this here for? This is our catch can. This is in case uh, for the extra oil. Right. So it's more of like um, 
for reliability yep. because the, you can't make power off that. We're running an e, uh, Evolution Power Sports charge tube and J-tube and as well as a blowout valve. Um, which is all reliability. The blow valve, I think, is just. But that definitely... stuff's very important when you're racing these longer races. It, because it, in it, the can desert. it can pop and you lose power. Yeah. So it is reliability. Um, we're running a um, 30 gallon Harman fuel cell. And that, does it go under your seats? Correct, yes. And then what, the fuel pumps are internal in that right, cell? Internal. And what kind of fuel pumps are they, you know? Uh, Polaris. Polaris, okay, stock pumps. Right. Easy to fix. Right, correct. And then, um, as well as our wheel and tire combo. We're yep, running, we didn't go uh, with those. We're running Dirt Commander 2.0s from GBC. Uh, they've been an amazing tire. At Vegas Torino, it's a 500 mile race. Very, very known to pop tires. I actually only popped one in Vegas Torino, and it was because of a driver error. Um, 33s? 33s, correct. Plenty of side bite grip. Oh, yeah, very well. And then uh, we're also running our uh, Ken Block wheels by Fuel. Okay, uh, cool. Very, very, very nice rims. Uh, they've seen, I've, I haven't had a problem with them yet. So we'll check out the inside. And you're saying, you told me that that's a stock Polaris Dash? Yes. That's incredible. So, it looks really clean. No, so this isn't stock, right? But everything. No, no, the digital dash. Right, this is stock, correct. So I'll, I'll, I'll sort it up for you. Very clean, it's quiet. Uh, so we got our rugged radios right here, just for communication and talking to people. Um, and then this is our Polaris Ride Command. This actually comes stock. And um, we I'm got impressed with that screen because some of the screens you see in these stock cars are pretty Right, right. Really so, and then they, all, they also have this right here. Uh, miles per hour, fuel, and then this is the, the, the dynamic suspension. Okay. Also, oh, it's obviously not hooked up because we have King shocks on it. But um, front and rear cameras. Then we got our gauges, which I believe we can flip around, but I'm not sure. So we got temps. And you got your belt temp through here, right? Right, belt temps and RPM. Oh, that's an RPM as well, miles per hour. Um, I, think, but I believe it's got a boost gauge right here too. Okay. And what do you like to keep your belt temp at? Um, I love it at 150, 160. Uh, the highest you can, I believe you can get it's like 270. And, and I, if you see it, what number do you slow down if you see it hitting? 240. 240, okay. And then, uh, yeah, boost gauge, uh, all the good stuff really. Uh, this is actually a fuel number two. Yep. So redundancy, if one goes bad, you can flick over. Correct. Um, so yeah, we got all that dialed. Uh, this is so. Uh, this was from the past ride command. If you uh, percent. That's for the shocks. Right. So if you were going over a big, you accidentally jump something. Click this button. It it's, stiffens it, it up. It's, stiff, and it's supposed to be on the passenger side. But it stiffens up the suspension. from the, the, the steering wheel, so he demounted them from the steering wheel. Oh, cool, cool. On here. It's a really clean dash. And overall, I mean, I love it, personally. Uh, it's one of my favorite cars, I think. Yeah, I'm stoked for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I and it. take it easy tomorrow. I will. We all know you can drive. Now you got to start winning some of these races. Thank you. Yeah, should be a fun race. All right, man. Great seeing you. Thank Good you. luck, buddy.